One of the concerns amongst investors is the company's reliance on China. It's about 25% of revenues, and it was a subject of some of our conversation. Take a listen. Our China business reflects the growth we see in the rest of the world. We're seeing huge growth in the data center around uh, cloud computing, also with, with AI, and then EVs. Huge growth in China in terms of EVs. And China wants a lot of what the rest of the world needs. Power efficiency, software ecosystem, a lot of the same software that's used uh, across the world is used in China. So what we're seeing, uh, David, in terms of our China market growing is largely around those two areas, data center and, uh, and uh, automotive. Now, in terms of the, the broader issues, I think I share the, the same headaches that just about every tech CEO does these days. Um, we comply, of course, with all the, the regulations that come down relative to export control, uh, if there's something that we need to adhere to, of course. But it's really, uh, it's a, a tricky market to figure out just in general because of all the things that uh, are going on geopolitically. But broadly speaking, our China business has been doing very well. Yeah, uh, I want to get back to the business itself. But Masa, you know, your, your SoftBank owns a significant stake in the joint venture that I'm describing in China. You've obviously done business there. You were a very large holder of Alibaba for many years. What is your sense in terms of the risk that China poses, given the percentage of revenues that it uh, comprises for your company, for ARM, is quite high. U.S.-China is having a, a very complicated uh, situation now. The, uh, China has a significant you know, uh, impact to the economy of the rest of the world. Uh, so I think, uh, I hope uh, the situation gets better, but who knows? Uh, I just I'm uh, one of the uh, citizens who is uh, wondering and, uh, you know, uh, concerned about the future of uh, China, U.S., and the rest of the world. Yeah. What, what do you hear? I mean, you have had relationships, deep relationships with uh, many people in the business community there. Um, how deep are your concerns? Not just in terms of the, of the back and forth between the U.S. and China, but also in terms of the regime itself and... and um, it's cracked down, so to speak, on entrepreneurship, if I could call it that. Well, uh, it's difficult to comment. <laughs> Whatever I comment, it goes into all kinds of headlines here and there. So I have to be careful what I say. But uh, uh, our exposure in China, SoftBank in, as a group, has reduced uh, significantly because uh, uh, now, uh, you know, most of the shares in Alibaba from SoftBank is already sold.